Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to do a Q&A video. I'm actually going to do a ton of Q&A videos because I didn't know you guys are going to ask me so many <laughs> questions. In order to answer them all and get them all in, I'm going to section this video into multiple videos and I'm going to section it into these categories right here. So it's probably going to be um, like just a beauty category, uh, uh, one asking about my friends, one asking about my opinion on things and, and like my life and stuff. This really, this is going to take a lot of editing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers, whoa. Like I just reached 3,000 like a week ago and I just hit 4,000 that's like crazy. Today is the 12th of August. 2016. I'm probably going to be be posting these videos all throughout the month of September. So, hi September. What's up? Uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the World asked best concert. Um, I've been to a lot of concerts, especially this year. Um, but I love going to Warp Tour, which isn't really a concert. It's a tour of multiple shows. The best show I've seen at Warp Tour was definitely Asking Alexandria. They had just gotten their new vocalist, um, Dennis Stoff, and oh my god, yes, hunty. I used to love them when I was first starting getting into this type of music, and then they're still one of my favorite bands. If you could only save three things from a fire, what would it be? People not included. Okay. What would I bring? My ukulele. It's not even my ukulele, actually. I would take my ukulele, my three things. Gosh, this is a hard decision. I consider her, I, she's not a person. I shouldn't consider her a person. This is April, my bunny rabbit. I've slept with her every single night ever since third grade, and I am never gonna stop. Sometimes I cry. <laughs> but she would probably be one of the first things I would grab from my room if it was burning but in general in my house like I think I would take my ukulele my laptop and my camera um what's your zodiac sign I am Aries uh I used to have an Aries tattoo but it faded um I have a pin on my backpack that says Aries uh what you YouTube someone asked me what you YouTube uh this this YouTube. Show me your socks. Hold on, I, I gotta get my sock up there. This, this is my sock. I can't. What's your favorite thing about be doing, uh, about doing YouTube? Honestly, my favorite thing ever is the fact that in a few years I can look back at my old videos and see how my life was. Now this year, this summer specifically, I have had an amazing year and it's absolutely amazing like i feel so fortunate i am so grateful for everything that i have and everything that i've you know i'm so happy right now with my life and i just i more than just being able to share that with you guys i i can't wait to be able to see my life like when i'm older and see how much i've changed and if I've changed in the wrong way, maybe I could watch my old videos and see how I could fix that. And I just think that, that capturing my life through videos is just a really nice way of keeping my life together. And, and it, that's my form of, of a journal. That's my form. This is my form of getting things out of my system, like talking about things and just, um, you know, relaxing and just sitting in front of a camera and talking. I never feel alone when I'm talking to my camera because I know that later on you guys will give me your feedback and, and show me support and I'm so grateful for that. What's your favorite anime? Um, I've only watched a few animes. I've watched, uh, <laughs> do you guys know the anime Made in Rose? <laughs> Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Um, no, I'm just kidding. That's not my favorite, but that's one of the ones I've seen. Um, I really, I like all the, like, y'all are gonna cringe, because I'm actually, I'm not, I, I'm not super into anime. I've watched animes, and I love anime. I actually am such a big fan of Studio Ghibli. I actually love their, uh, art to style and their, um, 
the the music the orchestra music I sometimes I'll do art and I'll just put on a um, playlist of all of Studio Ghibli's uh, play, like songs from their music from their uh, movies and I'll, I'll play them even though that's not like an I mean it is anime but it's not what you guys are talking about um, I have seen Death Note Attack on Titan uh, Bla, Bla, uh, Black Butler, um, uh, Minoko Magica. Minoko Magica is ma probably one of my favorites. I love the art. The art is so trippy in it, and it's so my style. It's so my thing. Like, it's, ah, oh, amazing. Um, I'm trying to think of others, others that I've seen. I just, I can't think right now, but those, those are four really big ones that I love. How old are you, and what is your favorite song right now? Um, oh, that's Kimmy. Um, I'm 17, and my favorite song right now might be Toxic by Trivial Difference. I don't know. Um, I really like Relax slash Divide by, um, Hail the Sun. I really like, there's a song by Dance Gavin Dance, uh, that I, I forgot what it's called. I might put it down here if I remember it, but that's a really good song. Um, I listen to a lot of random songs. What's good in the hood? Who is this? Tyler Hostler. I don't know you, but what's good, bruh? M dot I dot evil. Who's Ian? Hey. Saw dude. Ah, uh, bro. It's good. Um, how many Camerons can you fit inside if an Ian? Uh, 72. What is the one thing that motivates you the most? My friends, honestly. My friends are amazing. All of my friends. I don't know where I would be without any of them. Like, all of them are special to me in my heart and my life and without them I don't know where I would be because they really do keep me going more than anyone else online friends are really amazing and my fans are really amazing but I think my friends I, I have to give a lot of credit to them because they uh, have really impacted my um, mental and emotional health like very much this uh, year especially how tall are you? I'm five, four and a half. And what is your favorite hair color? Right now, my favorite hair color is purple, and that's why my hair is purple. <laughs> if you were stuck inside an island, oh, if you were stuck in an island, who would you want to be with you? Celebrity slash friend? Why? Okay, I would. <laughs> this. Is, oh, all right. <laughs> who would I choose? I would want to be on an island with, okay, this three guys that are in the band that I uh, hang out with. Um, they're actually my favorite band right now. Like, I love their song Toxic. I love their song Panic. I love their song um, Windex. <laughs> I like, like, they're, the Trivial Difference is an awesome band, guys. Oh, I love them. And, um, and Cameron, Cammy, my little BB Cammy. Uh, Ian, it's his birthday yesterday, and today is his party tonight, so happy birthday, dude. Um, and his brother, Gannon, I would have them on my island. I would, uh, Kat is my best friend, that's, like, my only girl best friend, that's, like, really, really close to me. Oh, um, I would like to be stuck with them, and Andy Beersack. <laughs> I don't know who else. Um, Alma underscore done. Are you dating someone? Or do you like anyone? Uh, I'm single right now. I'm not dating anybody. But um, I kind of, kind of do like someone right now. Did you date one of the guys from Trivial Difference? <laughs> Did you date one of the guys from Trivial Difference or have a crush on any of them? They're all my best friends, and um, it's really cool. And it's really funny because uh, Cameron and I always like point out <laughs> in this video, dude, it like looks like we're dating. What idea did you get to become a YouTuber? How do you get your face to clean? I became a YouTuber because I actually really loved editing videos. That was my favorite thing to do to edit videos. Uh, and so I just started making videos and I was like, hey, I'm going to make a YouTube channel so I can make videos and edit them. <laughs> like literally the reason was to edit. Then I started to realize how awesome it is um, being able to talk to the camera and stuff. Like then it became one of my sources of letting out my anger and stuff, like uh, getting to talk in videos. Um, and how do you get your face clean? Um, I, watch, I, I wash my face with clear, 
set Cetaphil, Cetaphil at night. Um, and, yeah, so I wash my face in the shower. It's, I also brush my teeth in the shower. I take like two showers a day. I'm obsessed with showering. It's I just love being in the shower. If you had to replace the words lit AF and swag with any other word, what would it be? If you can answer this without a nosebleed, you get 20 swag points from Big Daddy P.S. George Bush did 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> um, lit AF, um, I'd probably switch those words with epic because that, that word has not been used by anyone but me since like 2003. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was four years old in 2003, um, like 2006. So uh, everyone really stopped a long time ago. I don't even know when. I'm just making up words now. I'm just talking now. I need to stop. But Epic is just something that I used to say all the time in fifth grade, and it stuck with me. I was just like, stay epic, stay epic, and then it became my outro for YouTube. So every time I make a YouTube video, which is every day, I say stay epic every day, and no one else ever says the word epic other than me. So let's make it a thing, guys. If you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Physical or uh, personality-wise? I don't know. Um... I wish I was more, I wish I was a better friend. I wish I cared more about other people. Like, I wish I liked to text, because I actually hate texting. That's also why I tell people, don't text me. You can Snapchat me, that's a little easier for me. Or Skype me, or um, just something like that. But I hate texting. I hate the actual act of typing words out and sending them. I just hate it. So I'm really bad at chatting with people and it's really hard for me to maintain friendships because everyone texts and I, I hate doing it so I really wish I was better at talking to people in general just like I wish I liked to chat with people and I wish I liked to I wish I was more like you know of a fun funny person that could get you in a really good mood and make you feel less crappy when you feel crappy because I am so bad at doing that. I'm so bad at helping my friends and I don't know how to do it. It just makes me feel like like a really shitty person because I don't know how to help my friends when they're sad and they're always there for me. That's something that I wish I could change about myself. Well, that right there, um, if you guys ever want to be in these videos where you ask me questions and I answer them, like Q&As, you can add me on Snapchat, ask me questions on there, um, KSMLUV17 or Kylie Jellyfish. Uh, I those are both my Snapchats. I ask for uh, Q&A questions on my Instagram, so follow my Instagram. The outro will pop up up here and you'll see my Instagram and you'll see my Tumblr. I ask questions on Tumblr too. The links will be in the description too. I hope you learned a little bit more about me because I like talking about that stuff so you guys get to know me as a person. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay epic everyone. Bye. I love you. Will you still love me?